Hi guys, welcome back to Watch Gauge. I hope each and every one of you are doing very, very well. It's been a little bit of quiet here on YouTube for the Watch Gauge channel. I've been doing a ton of work recently uh, with new partnerships, with working with new brands, and setting out a game plan to actually really grow Watch Gauge over the next 12 months to 18 months, and things are falling into place very, very nicely, and it's time to do a video. I have two brand new Draken models that are currently in pre-order uh, that we're going to talk about today. I've got the Kruger and the GMT Tugela or the Tugela GMT. So as many of you know, the Draken Tugela has been, at least for watch gauge, one of the most successful watches I've ever carried. We did a watch gauge exclusive version called the Tugela Shaka. And quite, quite often, both Michael over at Draken as well as I would get inquiries, well, when are you guys going to do a chronograph version? Or when are you going to do a GMT version? Your requests have been heard and Michael has answered them. The Kruger has a Tugela feel in a chronograph version and then the Tugela GMT. And if you stick around to the end, I've got a great announcement on the GMT. We're doing a watch gauge exclusive. So let's dive in real quick. I try to keep my videos short. I can't stand long videos watching them, so I'm gonna try to keep them short. We'll get you a close look at the Kruger, get you a close look at the GMT, and at the end, we'll talk about the watch gauge exclusive, which I am super excited about, and uh, let's get to it. Okay, before we get a close look at the Kruger, a uh, quick wrist check. I am wearing the NTH Nacken Modern Blue. I uh, currently have it paired on a rubber strap that I picked up, I believe, on Amazon for like 15 bucks. But the color combination, I think, is just absolutely perfect. Uh, I love to mess with my straps, particularly with my NTHs and the drill lug holes. Super easy to do so, and uh, I really dig it. Currently, I am sitting on very, very few NTH subs that are remaining. We have more in production at the moment, but check out the subs on watch gauge right now see what i have for in, from nth because they are almost sold out the knack and modern blues the barracuda vintage black as well as a few others so let's take a quick look at the kruger and run through some specs uh great travel case that these will be coming in uh they strap to your belt if there's anything that you want to carry with you it's a great edc uh belt tool so open that up and slides out the Kruger chronograph. So we've got the Kruger, it comes with an additional strap and let's get a close look. Draken engraved there in the case side. Beautifully executed dial, I think, uh, very legible. It comes in three versions, it's got an all black dial and all white dial, as well as a panda dial, which I love. Draken logo on the crown. And on the case back, if I can focus here on that, we've got a nice engraving of a rhino there. So the Kruger is the Kruger National Park in South Africa. And this watch, the Kruger, pays homage to the Kruger National Park Rangers who are vital in preserving the lives of endangered species in the Kruger National Park. Michael is donating a small portion of every sale to the Kruger Rangers for their efforts. So the case on the Krugers will be bead blasted titanium. I love the bead blasting of Draken watches. I think it gives a real nice tool watch look. The case measures 44 millimeters. The lugs are a 22 millimeter width, 49 and a half millimeter lug to lug, and a 14.2 millimeter thickness. The movement is a Seiko VK63 Mecha Quartz movement, which features a date at six o'clock. You've got the running seconds at also at six o'clock, just above the date. The chronograph counters at three and nine, and the chronograph second hand is at 12 o'clock. For those of you not familiar with the Mecha Quartz movement, you'll have a ticking second hand, as you see here, but the chronograph second hand sweeps. So while the second hand is running for the chronograph, it appears the same way a automatic chronograph movement would tick. 
It's got a double dome sapphire crystal. Anti-reflective coating is on the inside, so you're not gonna scratch it off of the exterior of the crystal. The bezel has a really nice grip to it, and it's a 120 click unidirectional bezel. 300 meter water resistance. And as I had mentioned, you've got the beautiful engraving on the case back on a very nicely done solid bracelet. Being titanium, this watch, even though it's big, is very, very light. It's also worth noting that the cases of both these and the GMTs I'm gonna talk about are coated with a 1200 uh, coating, which makes it as hard as 1200 Vickers. Just to give you an idea, 316 L stainless steel is at about 150 or 155 Vickers in, in the hardness scale. These are 1200. So it's gonna be much more scratch resistant, this and the GMT that I'm about to show you. The Kruger is available in three dial versions. You've got a black dial, black bezel. You've got a white dial with black subdials, also known as a Panda, as well as this all white dial. Now the white dials are fully luminescent. Additionally, you can get any of the three dials in either titanium with bead blast, or in a black DLC coated titanium. The Krugers are currently in pre-order right now with an MSRP of $465, expected deliveries in July, and if you purchase it now uh, at, in pre-order, it's $395. So $395 in pre-order, $465 retail, delivering sometime in hopefully mid-July. Moving on to the GMT. So the Tugela GMT is basically an upgraded version of the Tugela, which has an, a Salita SW330-2 automatic movement. Additional noticeable differences are you've got a GMT hand as well as a GMT bezel. A really quick idea of how that works. If in your current time zone it's reading, let's say, 1010, your home time zone will also be reading 1010 based on the bezel. And if you are traveling throughout different time zones, in the first click out position, you can move that GMT hand. So you can set your hour hands here to two different time zones and easily read them. The case and the bracelet here are 316 L stainless steel. Again, hardened to 1200 Vickers. The diameter is 42 millimeter, also with a screw down crown, 22 millimeter lugs a 48 and a half millimeter lug to lug and 14.1 millimeters thickness. This also has Draken engraved on the case. Being a GMT, this has a 48 click bi-directional movement. I'm not gonna get into the particulars in this video because uh, it can get a little lengthy. You can actually utilize a GMT with a 48 click bi-directional motion as a three time zone watch. Possibly I'll do a video on that very shortly. As I mentioned before, it's got a Solita SW330-2 automatic movement. Also has, just like the Kruger, a double dome sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the inside, 300 meter water resistance, and this bracelet, they're calling the beads of rice bracelet. I'm traditionally think of a beads of rice bracelet as the polished and rounded. This is a more flat, bead blasted finish of it. Up until this video, the Tugela GMT is available in three variations. It's got this, the black dial, black bezel. They also have a black dial with a steel bezel available. Then there's also the super blue version available. If you remember the Tugela super blue, easily the hottest Draken ever made up to date. Now they're doing a GMT version of the super blue. And I'm also super excited to announce the airfoil version, which is the watch gauge exclusive to Jella GMT. With the white dial and super blue bezel, orange GMT hand, currently you can purchase the two black dial versions as well as the super blue version in pre-order with an MSRP of, I believe, $1,000 or 999. It's currently in pre-order at 750. These will deliver in September. With regards to the airfoil, the watch gauge exclusive. At the moment, I am not taking pre-orders for them. I'm only taking a waiting list. We are making a limited number of them in this production run. If you go to watchgauge.com, you click on the link to join the waiting list. Once I am ready to take pre-orders on them, I will send you a private link so you can secure your watch gauge exclusive 
Draken 2 Jella, Airfoil GMT, which is what I believe is going to be quite possibly the coolest Draken ever made. I love the color combination and I'm super excited to be able to offer it to you as a watch gauge exclusive. So I'm beyond excited guys to be able to announce the watch gauge exclusive to Jella GMT, also known as the Airfoil. In addition to give you guys a closer look at the GMTs as well as the Kruger. A link will be in the description below here on YouTube to go to the Draken page on Watch Gauge. Again, you could pre-order the Krugers, which will be here in mid-July. You could pre-order the GMTs, which will be here sometime in September, as well as join the wait list for the airfoil. And again, once I'm ready to start taking orders on those, I will send you a private link so you can secure yours. As always, if you have any questions at all, you can email me at johnatwatchgauge.com. And I thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video, for visiting the website, to follow social media. Oh, by the way, we started a TikTok. Uh, my kids think it's funny, but we started a Watch Gauge TikTok, which I'm learning and figuring out. It's kind of fun. I'm not doing any uh, dances or anything, but uh, we're showing you some cool watches on that and playing with the effects. Uh, so if you do go to TikTok, uh, search for watch gauges, give us a follow there. It's currently Friday of Memorial Day weekend here in the US, so I hope everybody has a wonderful and safe weekend no matter where you are in the world. And going forward, you will start seeing a bit more content both here on YouTube as well as our other social media. As I mentioned, I have a couple of new brands in the works. Uh, I do have one new brand that I'm gonna do a video on very shortly, uh, Circula, a German-made brand that's currently on Watch Gauge. Go check that out. I'll be dropping a video on that soon. And as always, thank you guys so much for everything, and I will talk to you soon.